Yes, I saw. An excellent performance, yeah. Evan. I honestly didn't expect you to be such a great fit. Fit for what? Come, I'll show you something special. Oh. Okay, we're not going into, like, his random, like, you know, torture dungeon or anything, so I feel like that's a good sign. Alright comrades, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Beholder 2. We're gonna find some dirt on Isaac. There has to be something there. Because we have a quest line for it, if you know what I mean. Um, sky high, gotta get promoted. And then now we need to find out where to put the emulators and the amplifiers and find out why Cur um, find out from Curry why she refuses to work. And then a vaccinate five of the um, Carls. The clones, if you will. Um, I'm coming here just to see if I can add... Ooh, can I add something to that? Yes, I can. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Um, I feel like I'm going to get very confused on what I've done, what I haven't done, and... Uh, oh, here's another one. So I'm trying to go slow, trying to figure out... Can I vaccinate the workplace Carls because they need some help to say the least can I put something on the telephones oh I can oh wait, that means I need to go down below and do one on that telephone as well I don't remember why we're doing this but here we are just uh, helping out humanity I guess I don't know um, all right, I can, can I put anything there? No, okay. Can I put anything here? No, all right. Okie dokie. Make sure I'm not missing anything from this floor, then we'll go down below. I don't know why I started with this floor. I think I was going to go all the way up and then decide not to. Oh, I was like, what is that right there? That is the elevator that I just got off of. Yep, that's, that's how well I'm doing today. <laughs> Remember when we accidentally um, had a suicide bomber? That was, uh, that was no bueno. Okay, uh, yep, we've already done that one. All right, let's go this way. Can I do, can I, can I do it in a plot? Nope, can't do it in the plants. All right. Plants would have been perfect, but you know, oh, maybe a vending machine. Vending machine might be good. There's a vending machine down here, right? I'm telling you, people do hang out around those um, plants. That'd be a perfect place for whatever you need, I guess. I don't know. Vending machine. There we go. We're getting some quests done today, ladies and gents. What about these? Did I already do these? I might have already done those. What about her cart? I can do her cart. That's great. Don't worry about this, Selena. Or Serena. I don't know why I called you Selena. Peter, what? <laughs> okay. I thought he was starting the YMCA. I guess not. They still haven't fixed down there? That's tragic. Can I put it in the paper cart? Nope. Okay. Did I ever look in that paper cart? I'm sure I did at the very beginning of the game, but... You know, Peter is a very good example of how I am when I'm not trying to kill my coworkers because he's alive and so is Emma. Like, I got rid of all of my coworkers on the other floor. This one I was like, hey guys, let's live in, you know, harmony and things. Oh, there's a bus over here too. All right, there we go. I think this is the last one. And then when I got to the other floor, I was like, nope, survival of the fittest. We're all going down. Are you all going down? I only really took care of one guy here. I was like, okay, see ya. But Maria, she needed... YMCA. That's all I think of when I see them do that. Alright, let's go to our floor. Maybe we'll actually make some clones today, but no promises. Can I talk to you? Alright. 
Maybe I don't want to talk to you. Let's go talk to Maria. She seems like a, a upstanding gal. Okay, I need y'all move so I can talk to my gal over here, Maria. I finished the first task. Aren't you a smart one? Keep on working on like that and you'll get paid. So what's next? Oh well, you can do more work if you want more money. To be honest, I haven't thought about what's next. Talk about colleagues, talk about... You know, I haven't seen her in a really hot minute. Promise I'll tell you one, I swear. I worry that everyone here might be crazy. Why? All this science has left them with a few scr um, screws loose. Recently I came into work in a low-cut dress and no one noticed. I like how Maria is just stuck talking between us. I have to work somewhere, though I'm not sure why. I got on just fine without it. And why did you get here? <laughs> Daddy helped me when I graduated from the institute. He said this was a cushy job and I could handle it. And? It's only been a month. It is cushy. But you're managing to, um, coop. Coop, right? Well, I'm not stupid. Do you already have your eye on someone? Why are you married? Er, yeah, relax. You're not my type. It's just everyone here is so smart. And I'm not one of them. Don't be offended, sweetheart. I just feel like I'm um, the stupidest person here, and that isn't right. It's not my fault that the professors gave my out grades without having to, me to take exams. Recommend self. Wow. I think you should consider self-development. It'll open up horizons for you. But it's not as easy as it seems. Are you sure? I paid 500. Might as well. Yeah, you could take some courses. Meet new people. Make connections. Succeed. All right. Thank you. If you see any notices about courses, let me know. Recommend the world leader. Oh my god. Yes, I met one person. Man, we are just having a party here with everybody. Um, who had something interesting to say. Perhaps it might um, suit you. The organization is called the World of the Leader. They promote personal development through unconditional inheritance of the word of the leader. It sounds interesting, but you sure? Sure. Here, I wrote down the number for you. Thank you, Evan. I'm so grateful. Bye. Bye. We can't just keep having workplace... Uh, Dance party in the middle right here by the phone. All right, I need y'all to move. Okay, Maria, I need to talk to you. Oh, you speak my language. At last, they have, um, they, they guessed to get, or at least they guessed to give me an interpreter. I'm not an interpreter. I know you are, Evan. You are Evan. Your name, wow, your name's I know. Who are you? I'm just your colleague. Maria, to be honest, I studied your language to find out why you weren't working. I'm not working? Yes, Oliver says that you um, work in neuroscience and genetics, and that DNA is a universal language that doesn't need translating. He expects some results from you. Universal language? If Jailer be, um, beat Oliver every night, if Jailer beat Oliver every night, all languages he would have forgotten. What are you talking about? All day I sit there and, and wait for the night with fear. I cannot write, I cannot read, I cannot do anything. Why? At night, guards come. Angry, bad, nobody sees. Is the guard beating you? Why didn't you say anything? Oh, yeah. I try to make report. No one understands. I'm scared. No way out. This is unacceptable. I won't let it stand. Either he'll leave you on his own, or I'll find a way to rein him in and he'll, never, he'll forget it. No, Evan, it'll be worse. I cannot stand it. Don't worry. Given the kind of hurdles I had to overcome to make it to this floor, it'll take more than some guard to stop me. Oh, now we can actually ask her questions. Nice. Better can be, like they say, better be, or could be better, you mean? Yes. And who is this? This That is guard. Do not show that we are talking about him. Why? It will be worse. Later. Where they hold me. Pe when people don't see us, he will ask and hit. Hit and ask. And then, then, calm down, Maria. I cannot cry. I can do it. Where is your family? My family is in my country. You don't talk to them? Only in my thoughts. They do not give me telephone. Are your living conditions all right? They put me in a house together with guard. Do you need anything? Food I have. Life I don't. What? I want to go home, Evan, or to die. How'd you end up in the ministry? The special forces of your country took me. I am genetist. I'm a geneticist, wow, a neuroscientist. I gave it a report for an international conference. Took you? Yes, from the hotel room at night. They gave me table, gave me papers, test tubes, microscope. They gave me where to sleep and a guard. Oh, sorry. For everything, it's... Evan, it was not you. It was your country, you did it? You are a prisoner too, only without guard. You are caged here. 
Did anyone ask, um, any, uh, did you ask anyone here for help? Maybe someone else knows your language. I don't know I can trust, um, I don't know I can trust Evan. Maybe you are a spy and will make it worse for me. I'm not a spy. How do I know? But I cannot be silent anymore, so I want to, sp uh, at least speak my language. All right, Maria. We will, uh, tell Oliver. Speak. I don't know why Maria isn't working. Can we talk about this? Spit it out. Tell him that the guard is... Oh, wow. Uh, convince him that she needs an interpreter. Lie and say she doesn't want to. Okay, I don't think he... I, I'm going to convince him about the interpreter. It all comes down to the language barrier. She doesn't understand what's needed of her. And you won't understand her, her inventions because you don't know the language. So what do we do? Find an interpreter. I know that there is a problem with them. But if you want her to work, you have to look for one. They pay... Um, a hefty sum. There are almost no interpreters left, and the remaining ones charge a lot. Here, this should be enough. You want to pay for the interpreter? We're in the same boat, Oliver. I'm willing to do anything for the sake of the ministry. I don't believe you, but it's commendable. Fine, I'll try to solve this problem. So I did that because then she can at least, you know, it helps her more, I think. Vaccinate. Uh, intervention is biochemic. Okay. Um, is my authorization left? A minister, uh, minis wow. A mission received. Ready for procedure. I have to, oh, I wasted all of my things to get, oh no. Oh no. Okay, uh, let's knock. I do, oh, wow. Um, I do not have enough authority to do any of the stuff that I thought I was going to be able to. That's fun. Um, let's talk to him, I guess. Give them a minute. Okay. I'm down with the emitters, comrade Weinberg. Did everything go as planned? Yes. I just did. I did just. Wow. I did everything just like you said. Statues and vending machines. Excellent. Let's see how this will affect overall indicators of personality testing. Where do we live off? Hmm. You said the emitters um, are on a side project of work with my father. And what was the main goal? Unfortunately, I can't tell you that, Evan. It's classified. Hemdale? Yes? What? No, I never mentioned anything about that. In a nutshell, at least, this has to be got, um, has got to be some brilliant idea. Brilliant doesn't even begin to describe it. Well, fine. In a nutshell, the world is not perfect. Sorry, Comrade Weinberg, but that's not a um, new idea. The novelty of the idea is determined by the conclusions um, derived from it, Evan. Caleb and I came to the conclusion that imperfection can be corrected if we correct those who create it. That is to say, people. Either they stop making mistakes or they will have to be replaced by those who do not make mistakes. Replaced? By whom? Look around you. Do you still not understand? Clones? You... Do you want to replace people with clones? Yes. For starters, we just need to get to know people better. Dissect their consciousness, understand their essence, so as not to repeat their mistakes in clones. Have you already um, undergone personality testing? Learn more about testing. In my work, I need to be constantly um, checked for generalized level of various personality characteristics characteristics of standard people. Testing allows me to assess the degree to which our ideas and efforts affect it the mass consciousness have your um okay yes yes and what was your score the ability to lie is the first thing that we conclude from the character um character exclude from the character of clones laziness is the second and third we read um uh, reduce the pain threshold because those who lie and laze around are punished often apologies comrade weinberg this won't happen again i'll take the test Okay, now we have to take the test. Shit. Is this the test? No. Is this the test? No. I'm worried about the test, guys. Okay, um, oh, I got 500. Okay, I got, um, things for that. So now I can... Can I do this with... Oh, I just... Okay, well, I spent 100 of that. Can I vaccinate the clones I create, maybe? Can I vaccinate people? No, I already talked to them. Can I talk to this security guard? How's your ward doing? Ward? Huh. She's an idiot. Just mumbles in her own language. I can't understand a thing. But she has a hell of an ass, right? Wouldn't you hit that? Um, come on. Don't be shy. I'm not. She ain't gonna tell anyone anyway. Maybe I should have said something. I don't know. I don't know what the right thing was. Now I feel bad for her. 
now. I felt bad for her before. <laughs> but now I'm like, man, let's just, let's get him killed, guys. Let's get him killed. The Ministry Registry uh, reminds you that in order to safeguard any information that constitutes a state secret, each visitor requesting documents needs to be submitted, needs to submit documents confirming the existence of documents and tell them to receive aforementioned documents. Employees, be careful when issuing documents. Do not give spies any chance to learn the secrets of their motherland. Alright, I wonder what brought that on. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and do some uh, Carl creations and then I'll be back. Alright. Let's talk to Maria. I feel like I did something weird and probably should have said that the guard was beating her, but I didn't. Maria, have you heard anything about the personality test? Your language is so funny. I hear it as ha ha ha. Personality test? I don't um, hear. Ask about tests, general chat, um, ask about the guard. Can I not, like, get the guard fired or something now? Was that a choice I made that was wrong? I don't protect her. I make sure she doesn't escape. How's work? I'm bored to death. Stuck in the ministry all day. You also guard her at night? Guard. I chase... Wow. Okay, um... She's... I... Oh, man, let's... Can I... Can I talk to somebody about this? Talk about the testing. Amelia, have you undergone the personality testing? That thing Weinbird makes everyone do? Yes. I've been sent to do it. I just don't know how to prepare for it. You know, it's so dumb. I was asked the most expensive thing in the world was. I thought it was less perfume by the third perfume factory, and I was wrong. Imagine that. Okay. Um, so that Maria is not stuck on us all day. Let's... Tell me about the test. I don't want to upset the boss. If you're a human, you'll have a hard time pleasing him. Only perfect Carls can do that. Dr. Newport, I want to discuss the vaccine uh, vaccination of the clones with you. What makes you think I'd want to discuss my research with the underling? Alright. Uh, let's talk to Oliver. Okay, um, Alright, that's nice. Okay. Guess we'll just keep vaccinating Carl's. All right, one Carl to go. All right, we done that task. Um, I need to take the the test. I just don't know where that test is. Did I talk to him about the test? Oh, they're fun. Senseless and mercilessness like electric shock. Choose the leader, whatever you can, and if you want to pass them. Alright, where do I go to take the test? Floor one, maybe? I don't know why I went this way. Um, It has to be on that floor, right? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's look. Oh, wait. Maybe I can report. Uh, complete the survey. Uh, apply for promotion. Submit information about colleagues. Take part. Okay, let's... The aim of this test is to collect personality statistics. Please take it seriously. Once you have started the test, you must complete it. You only have one attempt. Start. Choose any topic. Um... Oh, geez. Uh, um, uh, logic? If you cross a unicorn with an octopus, you get a single horned octopus, whatever the leader commands, an eight-legged unicorn. Question two. If a person loses their thumb and index finger, what will be their ring finger to be called? Whatever the leader commands. Uh, our ancestors came before us, and our descendants will come after us. Who are we? Now people, servants of the wise leader? Um, alright, we'll just... Is it acceptable to beat a person who is lying on the ground if the leader commands it? Is it acceptable to imprison a suspected criminal before a crime is committed? Oh shoot, uh, the state knows everything? Um, I think I failed that one. Uh, I believe in the wise leader, which means uh, that they are true. What is the difference between an ordinary person and a normal person? Salary, imagination, and citizenship? Is it a victory over yourself or a victory uh, is a victory o over yourself a victory or a defeat? Depends on what the leader commands it to be. 
I don't know if I'm uh, doing this correctly, but here we are. Uh, butterfly is in your stomach. A parasited a par <laughs> infection. A figure of speech. What is the name of the back of your knee? Has no name. It's the leg pit. The world. How long can a human live until they die, until they've had enough? What is uh, the speed of darkness? See directive. Oh, wow. Um, proportional to the speed of light, equal to the light of speed. Um, propor proportional to the speed of light? I don't know. I don't know the answer to these. What is the blunt side of a knife called? The reverse side of the um, I'm gonna. I think it's actually the butt, but it's fine. Um, the ministry uh, thanks you for your taking your part in the survey. Uh, submit information about colleagues and end call. Don't know if I did that right, but you know it is what it is. I passed the test, comrade. Yes, I saw. An excellent performance, Evan. I honestly didn't expect you to be such a great fit. Fit for what? Come, I'll show you something special. Oh. Okay, we're not going into, like, his random, like, you know, torture dungeon or anything, so I feel like that's a good sign. This is my lab, but I call it a throne room. This is where the future of the country lies. If everything goes well, I will tell you more about it. All right, we have a, th a throne room. Uh, Comrade Weinberg. Hello, Carl. I'm so sick of it. Well, here we are. Everything you see is the result of well-coordinated work between man and clone. Meet Carl Steen. The so-called Carl Zero, the first model, the master copy. Somehow, he doesn't strike me as the perfect specimen. And that's what we, the geneticists and biologists, are here for. When we copy him, we introduce a genetic correction code into the body and firmware, into his consciousness. The latter suppresses Carl Zero's unneeded memories and emotions while enhancing the qualities we're looking for. Diligence, submission... Yeah, endurance, as well as the lack of curiosity, compassion, and experience. So the base version isn't important to you at all. Why do you keep Carl here then? Historically, all of our technologies were designed around him, and recently a bug has appeared in the firmware that we're unable to fix. A bug in the firmware? Yes. Carl had a pretty difficult life. All those fears, experiences, and losses got lodged somewhere very deep inside him and have been manifesting themselves in his clones at the most unexpected times via a weakness in their firmware. What do you want me to do? I have a hypothesis that a breakdown creates a complex memory of last year of Carl's life. Something happened during this period, something very bad, something that won't stop bugging him, despite the fact that we cut his brain up into every conceivable way. And how do we fix it? We need to find out what those events were and what combination of memories causes this effect. Don't you know? When I cut a lab rat, I don't care how many brothers it had or how well it slept. A clones must obey their coding. That's what I know. But he's not a lab rat. Evan, I have no time to play Psych, uh, physio, uh, wow, <laughs> games with you. Find out what happened to Carl and find out how these memories managed to penetrate the firmware. So you want, so find out what hurt him, then hurt him more. Well, when you put it that way, yes, this is what we call a scientific experiment. In case you were, you weren't aware. To get started, collect all the information you can about the last year of Carl Steen's life. Everything you can find. Your colleagues know something. From time to time, they've needed this kind of information for their work. There's bound to be something in the archives. Is the building where he lives still there? Aha, great idea. You can check the building. There might be some emotional ties there. And then? And then we'll create a visual simulation of Carl's consciousness and feed him everything we found. If my hypothesis is correct, then we'll find out what caused the firmware malfunction. And if it's not, then we'll keep searching, combining, and trying. It should work at some point. I'm not going to tell him about the time traveler. <laughs> talk about the clones, talk about the floor, discuss the area's research, discuss the future, talk about the father, talk about the throne room. Uh, let's talk about the throne room. Ask about the giant statue of the leader. Tell me about Carl Zero. 
Although we use him as a benchmark, there are still a lot of issues with him. We still haven't managed to iron out some bugs in the firmware. Okay, I am going to just end this chat. Can I explore this room? All right. I just want to know what's over here. Okay, all right. It's just Carl's. Okay. Okay, so do I just go here? How do I... How did I get to his throne room or whatever? No idea. All right, let's start off where his last address was. Um, then we're, we're going to try to, like, figure out how to get rid of this guard because I don't like him. And then uh, we are going to... Do something. I thought we had another thing that we needed to do, but I don't see it on the list. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk to the scientist and let him know that we vaccinated his little clones. I'm sure something else is going to go very seriously wrong, but we'll see. Do, 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 do. Oh, there he is. Evan, it worked. Haritio, I, I didn't expect to see you again. Didn't you say you had a limited number of jumps? I have no limits now, Evan, but let's cut to the chase. We recently opened up an archive, and there was a lot of money from your time inside. We would like to use it for experiments, but I thought it'd be worthy reward for someone like you. Like me? Well, yes, you were just following my orders. Tell him to shove it. Take the money. Give me that money. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm not going to turn it down. That's the right attitude. How often do you have the honor of receiving money from the hands of the brightest minds of, of your distant future? Well, actually, it's just money. Well, actually, I didn't expect you would be um, that you would appreciate the moment. You never came across as a smart type. Let's get down to business. All right, here. I don't know whether you'll, we'll meet again or not, but like, most likely not. I do not want to come back here, but if you happen to see me walking down the street, don't come over and say hi, okay? Why? I just don't want um, to. Bye. Bye. Thanks for the cash. All right, let's pay some bills. And then let's go and look at Carl Stein's last place of work. Oh, why can't I find out? Oh, I need to find out the address. Okay, let's let's stay home. Let's call the archives and get the address. Uh, what would you like to know? Request information, Carl Stein. Carl Stein, personal file, classified. The Dazier was destroyed by order of the Ministry of Cutting Edge Scientific Developments. Last place of work, the manager of Class D um, apartment building at 6 um, Crush Vice Street. Thank you. All right, so let's go to that street. All right, let's go to 6 Crush Street or whatever. Crush Vice Street. There we go. You arrive at um, 6 Crush Vice Street and try to question the tenants of Car about Carl Stein, the previous building manager. Uh, the few. Oh, Carl Stein. Oh, I don't know why it just now clicked. That's from Beholder 1. I didn't even think of that. I was like, oh, look, Carl's. I why didn't I make that connection before now? <laughs> Few tenants remain from that time. Currently, they're all gathered in one apartment, ready to talk. You, uh, you find out that Carl's wife was called Anna. Their son was Patrick, and their daughter was Martha. Everyone in the building loved Martha, especially. Talk to the old man. This is Mark Rannick, an honored archive worker. He remembers Carl Stein and his family very well. A good housewife, she was, are the only words the old man can say. He says that while Patrick was a bit of a layabout, he um, was fond of studying. Carl asked for some books for his son, but Rennick didn't have them. But that was good for nothing schemered or skimmer did. Carl turned him into the authorities afterwards, and rightly so. He says that she was a good girl, but poorly treated. Once she lost her doll, Naira, uh, Nira, and went about asking everybody about it, she came knocking at the the door three times and Mark wasn't able um, to take a nap after lunch. This is Rosa Rannick, a pleasant old lady. It's still unclear how she managed to avoid the blissful sleep. She says that Anna loved her children very much. She would have done anything for them. When Patrick needed money for university, she tried to sell her belongings. She hoped that Carl would sort it out, but he failed to get the money for his son and Patrick was expelled. 
Is this taking information from my first game? Because that'd be really awesome. But also, I feel attacked right now. <laughs> Rosa remembered that um, once she found him crying in the laundry room, it turned out that his girlfriend, Andrea, and her whole family had been executed at the border. Rosa says that Martha was a sweet girl who loved candies as much as the next child. Once she told everyone that her brother had taken a pair of glasses belonged to Mark, Rosa's husband, just um, so she could get candy. Mark was going to call the police. This is Al, a famous surgeon. He says that Carl helped him with his personal life. He lived in another building for a while, but when he then he came back. He says that Anna was a wonderful woman, but she had frail nerves. She died a month after they took Carl. Their children had already died by then. Oh, I did Martha die? I forgot that Martha died. When they came to evict her, she shot Bruno, the big boss, right in the stomach. She got 11 shots in return. Al remembers reading about a cave-in in the mine. More than 40 people died, including Patrick. It was his first month of work. They brought Anna the death notice and her son's helmet. She fainted. Al, with tears in his eye, mentions that Carl's daughter needed expensive foreign medicine called Libesprite, a uh, spirit, and he couldn't help. Nobody could. Martha died. She used to say that she had a little son inside her. That son finally burnt her. Al started, or starts weeping. They've heard or you've heard the stories there are to hear the fate of the people or the fate of the stein family clearly left an impression on all these people it's time to go home i forgot all about all that and like I, I, it's been years since i played beholder one did they take the information from my last save because that would be really awesome i'm gonna google it or if it's just like oh these are things that people could never could do um but like i don't know i just like feel attacked just a little bit all right guys i am gonna call this an episode so if you like this video press that like button if you watch more of my videos press the subscribe button i make videos monday through friday and i will talk with your faces later bye